on a different creek today and I've got a I've got a good signal up in here but there's a lot of traffic up here so it may be a bottle cap or something like that but it's reading good so we'll see Oh, there's a piece of metal right there. Oh, that's a rock. Let me put you on hold just a minute. All right, I've uncovered it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's a penny. I thought it was old. <clears throat> but it's not old. Let me see what it is. It is a... It's a memorial, of course. 78 or so. About the best I can see on it. Anyway, put it in my pocket. And move on down the creek a little bit. Creek edge, anyway. It's nice out here. It's rained a little bit, so there's actually a little water in this creek. So, moving on down, see how it goes. We've got a good signal here in the water. 40s, 60s. Until I show you, then it changes. So, I'm going to see. Let's see what it might be. In the water. Oh, it's right here somewhere. Oh man, well, piece of lead, looks like, I don't know what it looks like, I'm back on the site where I found my compass a long time ago, and things like that, so I'll hold on to it, it looks pretty old, it's got a little point on the end, and uh, about it I don't know what that is but I'm down in the creek right here now so I'm gonna move on move on down the creek and see what I find down down in down around the corner I guess I got a pretty scratchy signal here it's going from 2 all the way up to 80 so I'm sure it's iron but I'm gonna dig it anyway. I'm gonna spare you the uh, having to endure me dig this. So I'm gonna dig my spot here and I'll be right back. It wasn't deep at all. It's a piece of iron. So, move on down the creek. Same direction. Just a little, a little bit further down. I'm getting the 70s and the 80s right here. Looking pretty deep, but I'm gonna dig it. So I'll let you know what I find. I'm closer. I'm on it right there. My pointer is about 10 inches deep long, and it's as deep as it'll go on the ground. And there's a yellow jacket. That's nice. <clears throat> so I'm going to. Uh, I might stop and just dig for a while, but I'll be back. That was a. That was deep. Guess what that is? 
Yeah, you're right. That is a axe head, a double-sided axe head. Oh, that thing is stinking deep. Let me wash it off a little bit and see what it looks like. That thing's been down there a while. It's big too. I just cut my finger. That's why I need a tetanus shot. Let me clean up a little bit more and I'll be right back. It might be as clean as it's going to get for right now. That ain't bad for my first five minutes out here, huh? I think that's a big one too. All right, I'm going to sit it. I'm gonna hide it right there. You know how good I am at hiding things. I managed to forget where I had them. Let me wash this, the cut finger. I'm good, but I'm still bleeding, dang it. One more time. I think I'll survive. All right, let's move on down. I do need to cover this hole because it turned into a, a Goliath. All right, be back with the next find. I'm getting a good solid 30, 36 here, so I'm going to try this, see what it is. I think I just kicked it out of the way. Oh, there it is. It's a piece of wire. That's all right, though. I'll hang it. When I find wire, I bend it. If I can and I hang it on a tree so I don't dig it again all right I'm gonna move on down around the corner I didn't make it around the corner before I got a 70s and 60s right here so I'm gonna check this spot and see what it is Maybe it's close. At least the water's flowing and I can see. That's good because, as I've said before, that is supposed to be waterproof. And it is not. Alright, it's not deep. Uh, no, I thought I felt it. I did. Piece of aluminum. I'll put that in my pocket and carry it out. Now I'll move on around. You know here, it's going from 40s all the way up to 90s. There's a little higher one right there next to it. Well, and the uh, <clears throat> the axe head I just found registered up in the. 90s too for some reason. All right, I'm gonna have to find it and I'll be back. That was a piece of paper. Piece of fall paper. Nice, isn't it? Oh, I got pretty good solid, well, 70s, 60s, 30s. Jumping around again. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see what it is. It's right there near that hole. That rock was out of that hole. And I hadn't walked here yet. So let me check and see. Let's see if I can even get a signal on my pointer. No, I'll be back. It was pretty deep too. And it's that. And it stuck pretty hard in the ground. So I'm going to cover the hole, forget about it, and then I'm going to move on down. I'm getting a pretty good signal under this rock. And when I push iron audio, it's not reading much iron, so 
I'm gonna flip this rock and see. Now let's see what it reads. Fifties and sixties, maybe a penny. Real close. So there, nope, man. Not a penny. It's more foil. That's a bummer. All right, have to haul that out too. I'm working my way down. The stream's getting a little narrower, so uh, I keep rolling. This is a nice area. I found uh, I found a bunch of bullets up here. A bunch of old bullet shells. I found uh, the compass. I found buttons. You know what I still hadn't found in the whole time I've been, I just heard a car go by. What I still hadn't found the whole time I've been uh, metal detecting is a pocket knife. I really want to find a pocket knife. Now my son found a pocket knife, but it was with a, uh, a little tiny toy metal detector. But that's not a dig on Garrett. Get it, dig on Garrett. But anyway, I'm going to move on down the creek and see what I can find. Signal. Fifties, sixties, seventies, and eighties. I already kicked a bunch of rocks out of the way. It's not deep. Oh, that's a bullet. Let's go clean it off a little bit. Rest off. Oh, you can't read it. Been in here a long time. I'll put it in my pocket. Haul it out. I got a good signal here. So I'm going to dig it. It's going to take me a little while. It says it's about eight inches deep, and there's rocks and roots and everything else. So I'll be back. Show you guys what I find in a minute. All right, I'm sitting down, and I still got my signal in the same hole, and I cannot, for the life of me, get any deeper. I have hit some monstrous rocks down there that don't seem to be moving. So I might have to, uh, I'm going to have to beep out and I'll be back guys. Alright, I'm done with this hole. It's almost a foot deep through the water. And it's a long metal thing that runs from here all the way down to who knows where. I can't get it out. So, next hole. I'm out of the creek <clears throat> and I'm up in the woods next to the creek. The creek down there runs through it. You might not be able to see it, but... Got a good signal on a trail here. It's not deep, so maybe just a pull tab. Ah, it's a lid. That's it. Man. I'll see what I do with these when I find them so I don't dig them again. Put them on a tree in me. There, I won't, I won't dig that again. All right, I'm gonna move up through this open patch of woods here and look around. I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> All right, another spot. This could be good or bad. It says 82, 83, it's about six inches deep. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. Try 
right there. Gotta flip this dirt. <clears throat> it's not showing it as real deep, but we'll see. Let's see what it is. It's not good when you move it so easy because Maybe, maybe not too bad. It's right there. Oh, that's a coin. It's small. Look at, let me sit on my honey. I'm more out from digging there. Look at me. I got a little dirty. I'm more out from digging the hole. The ten foot hole for that dog on. It's got a president on it. Hang on, just one second. I'm trying to get a little more cleaned off here. Let's see what year it is. I just can't see anymore. That's a good signal though. Now if I get a good camera though, nobody be getting so mad at me now. It's like what the what the what? Alright, let me try to look at it. Hang on. I think it says uh 87 or 67. So it's not old. I can't even get the edges cleaned up to see if I see copper on there. But anyway, moving to the next spot. Let me get up. Come from the dime. I got a good solid 50s right here. Doesn't appear too deep. We'll see. So it's two inches. The garret don't lie. So let's see. All right, just scratch away about an inch. So, I know you're tired of me sticking that pointer in the ground. You're thinking, well, just get the shovel and dig a hole. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh it's a cap. I see it already. See it? Man, I found these. Story of my life. Expert, Winchester expert. I oh, know Western expert. I don't know if you can see it or not. How about that beeping? You like that? It's like double the pleasure. Western 12 expert. It's old, but it may be like 40s or 50s. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that that's what I find. Shotgun shell head stamps. Alright, it's not long. I gotta go meet my bride. I'm ready to get out of here. This is fun. But like I said before, it ain't as fun as being with my family. Now if they come with me, then it's more fun. Be right back. I got a good 40s to 70s signal right here. I went ahead and kicked all the grass back. I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. It says it's 8 inches. So it's gonna take me another few minutes. Be back in a second. Actually, it may be like five minutes I'll be back but to y'all be be back in a second I've got the dirt turned and I see what it is y'all see what it is it's pretty deep I have never found one of these out here oh it's in the roots that little honker I haven't looked it up but does anybody know how to tell if a horseshoe is a hammered horseshoe or if it's a uh, poured horseshoe you know what I mean how do you tell if they're old or not I mean I know this is old but how old is it? Any ideas? Look at it. Horseshoe. 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 Alright, moving to the next spot. In the meantime, while I've been waiting, and I've been walking looking for the next signal, I found this. 
I don't know what it says. You have to rub it upon the cedar. Ah, it says peanut butter. Stabilized. Do not take this to the local schools because everybody will go into panic mode. Why does, or why do so many kids today have peanut allergies? Because when I was a kid, I guess if you had peanut allergies, you just didn't eat peanuts. But now the school goes on lockdown as if there's an active shooter on board. So anyway, I'll haul this out of here so I don't dig it up again. Can't necessarily, can't really hang it on a tree. So, fill my hole, take a walk. I'm gonna stop this <clears throat> video, but I got a good signal here. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. Let me see. A few minutes ago, I dug up this. My bride called me. She's on her way home, and I'm missing her like crazy, but I, she says she may go home and rest, so I may just keep digging away a little bit. Let me get this lettuce out of the way. Let me dig this. I don't think it's deep. This is a decent signal, but let's see here. Try to. That's a rock. Huh. I don't know what that is. But that's what it is. That's what it looks like anyway. It's like it's brass. I can see it on the corners. A minute ago, while I was not recording because I thought it was done, I dug another little piece of brass similar to that. Let's see if I can find it in my pocket. Yeah, I found it, found it, found it. There it is. I don't know what it is. But, I'll take it out of here. The other one looks the same, just bigger. Any ideas? Alright, go on to the next spot. Got another good signal right here. Try to find it. Not deep. So I'll uh, flip it. No oh, man. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I was gonna tell you I'd be right back, but I decided I'd be right here. It is a 22 round. Let me turn around here. I'm looking for the mark on the bottom. Anyway, I got my share of 22s, but. Looks like an R, maybe Remington. All right, put it in the pocket. All right, what turned into a, uh, what I thought might be an hour hunt turned into about a three hour hunt. Let me show you what I found here. Horseshoe, that double ax head. 
uh, a Vietnam era bullet from up here. A bunch of training went on. There's that 22 round. There's the actual bullet. You know, this is just the casing, of course, with no bullet in the end. Uh, modern penny, modern penny, modern dime. I, I cleaned the dime up. It's a 67. I know uh, uh, shotgun shell head. That little thingy. And I just realized I don't know where the other one is. I think I just threw it on the ground when I emptied my pockets out. Hmm. It's okay. Anyway, I appreciate you, everybody watching, and uh, subscribe if you like. And I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, this weekend will be a uh, be a uh, magnet fishing trip. See you later.